guys, I'm Rain. I work as a Creative Technologies Officer here at Salisbury Library Services. And today I'm going to be reading a book very close to my heart because I like to think I'm one of these too. It's called The Imagineer by Christopher Chung and Lucia Maschiello. And I think from what I saw, the publishing house was dun, 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 NLA Publishing. So let's jump in. You see, do you suck on your pencil like that when you're thinking? I do things like that all the time. I have a fidget spinner too that I use sometimes. Penny was an imagineer. She imagined with her mind and then created with her hands. Do you guys imagine with your minds and create with your hands? I do all the time. She loved to pull things apart and put them back together again. She twisted and turned, screwed and tied, taped and stacked and covered. Oh my goodness, that's lots of creating, isn't it? If her creations didn't work out the first time, she would start all over again. That's so important for us, isn't it? We're not always going to get it perfect the first time. We need to keep, keep trying. She imagined her spaceship with an interstellar communicator shooting far into space and her submarine with an aquasonic visualizer exploring the deepest oceans. Look what she made a submarine out of a cardboard box. I don't think that's very waterproof. She sketched and planned and scribbled. Penny's imagination was massive, but her apartment was minuscule. Ah, Grandpa lived in an enormous house a long way away. Do you have family or people you love that live a long way away? So when Penny went to visit for the first time and discovered rooms packed with all kinds of stuff, she was flabbergasted. That's a big word, isn't it? Flabbergasted. It means like shocked and surprised. She talked on a telephone. Look at that old school telephone. You guys would be used to mobile phones, wouldn't you? But this is an old school telephone. She talked on a telephone that was hanging on the wall and she sliced potatoes with Grandpa's wartime mandolin. She sang at the organ while Grandpa pumped the bellows. I think the bellows are the little steps of the organ. She turned, to ha she turned a handle to churn homemade butter until her arms cried, stop. We don't churn butter anymore, do we? We just go and buy it from the shops. Everything has a purpose. Everything has a job to do, said Grandpa. Then Penny discovered the shed. She could barely breathe. Look at all the cool things in the shed. Have you been in a shed before? Maybe at a community space or maybe at school? Penny couldn't work out what many of the bits and pieces were used for, no matter how long she investigated. But Grandpa knew. And Penny was sure that these thingamajigs and whatchamacallits and fangdangled contraptions, which is what Grandpa called anything he had forgotten the name of, would be useful. Do you have some fangdangled contraptions at home? For a long time, Penny sat and pondered and wondered, what could she build? Do you know what pondered means? It means thinking. Oh, look at all the drawing. Do you draw out your designs? This is called designing on paper. We prototype before we build things. And then it was ready. Penny's most wonderful, phantasmagorical, I spelt it out a bit, didn't I? Phantasmagorical, incredibly ocious, stupiderific creation just for Grandpa. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's coming. Whoa, check that out. Look at that. That's awesome. She's got like a little shower to water the garden and she can, oh, I want one of those. I'd rather sit and mow if I can. I'm a bit over mowing my lawn. Oh, and look, this is an old music contraption, not like what we listen to today. And then a big hat, hug for Penny and Grandpa. And it, what's really cool about this book, a little bit about the authors, is it has this amazing thing at the back. So you guys can borrow this book from our libraries. And it's got this awesome sort of um, examples of inventions that have happened over time. Maybe you can create your own little wall presentation of your inventions and tell us a bit about yours. All right, thanks guys. Mm -hmm.